Hi, I hope you're doing well. I apologize for like the wind or the, um, you know, the birds chirping if, or if any like airplanes are coming by and it's like incredibly loud. Um, I will try to project my voice because I do also understand that I am filming outside and there is a literal highway um, like a mile away from here. Maybe not a mile, but like I was like half a mile away from here. I have been wanting to talk about the topic of solitude for a while on this channel, but the reason why I have it is not because I don't want to, but because I have been trying to think about precisely what I want to say. I noticed that lots of people feel very uncomfortable with being alone and that they a lot, there are people out there in the world that feel like they need to be with somebody to be happy. When people think of themselves being alone or single, they often think about it in like a negative connotation um, or they assume that they're going to get lonely. As people, I believe that it's important for us to be able to synergize and get to know one another. I changed my position so it's easier to see me um, with the sunlight facing directly at me. When people think of themselves being alone or single, they often associate it with a negative connotation um, and they'll assume that they'll get lonely. And as people, it's important and it's necessary for us to be able to synergize um, and meet other people. However, it is not okay to depend on, on another person to the point where you feel like you can't be happy without them. It's okay to admit that you're lonely, but it's not okay to associate being alone with loneliness. This is not okay. You should not rely on another person to make you feel whole, which takes me into my first step in enjoying your solitude. Realize that you are already whole. You don't need another person to make your life complete because you're already complete. In fact, I would argue that you don't need anything in the world to make you feel complete because you're already perfect the way you are. You're literally everything and more, but nobody will ever treat you that way if you don't treat yourself that way. Have you ever heard of the phrase, comparison is a thief of joy? Because if you think about it, it really is. Think about every time you've seen a friend or a family member post their accomplishments on social media. It's easy to compare um, our lives when we're only seeing the best parts of somebody else's life. It's even easier to think that other people's lives are very perfect and simple um, when you're not even seeing their lives holistically. Think about how many times you see people post um, about their marriage or their new relationship. How many times do you see people post about their breakup or divorce? Can't, can't think of many, right? Can't even, probably, some of you guys probably can't think of none. <laughs> think about how much designer you see on the internet. How many people in real life do you actually see wearing real designer? How many people do you know that can really afford those types of, those types of brands and clothing? I bring this up because the reason why the grass seems so greener on the other side is because maybe the grass is fake. So maybe we should stop comparing ourselves to others and focus on what we have. Or I should really say, we should really focus on the things that we take for granted, like a safe community, able-bodiedness, or even safe water. My final part of this video, I would like to say, is something that I, it's a topic that I feel very deeply about. Um, and it's the reason why I decided I even wanted to make this video. But the biggest part of enjoying your solitude I believe is learning to be in your own company, learning to enjoy and love yourself so much. But in order for that to happen, you have to find yourself. You have to know who you are. What's your favorite movie? Do you even like movies? Do you like, do you prefer to read? Do you prefer to listen to audiobook? What do you like to do? What do you, what do you want out of life? What are, what are, things that you like, what are interests that you've always wanted to cultivate. Believe it or not, there are lots of people that don't have answers to these very basic questions or seemingly basic questions because answers to these questions require you to know yourself. And lots of people don't know the answers to these questions because they've never taken the time to actually get to know themselves. Finding yourself is a process that takes deep introspection and commitment to yourself. The best way I like to exercise introspection is activities like journaling and meditation. I'm still a bit new to the practice and the idea of meditation, but I have been journaling for years and I think it's very essential and it's helpful um, to get to know yourself. Like there's so much, there's so many things in life that I wouldn't be able to get through, I wouldn't be able to cope with 
had it not been for the activity of journaling. Journaling has helped me discover the most intimate parts of myself. I'm so grateful that I had the opportunity to discover myself and I was given the opportunity to figure out a positive way to cope with the unfortunate realities of my life. Um, and it may sound a bit sad and it may sound a bit melancholy, but I think it's a beautiful thing when a person finds themselves. And sometimes the best way to be able to find yourself is to see the world for what it truly is and figure out how to cope with that. A more spontaneous way to discover yourself is to try new things, learn a new skill, or go deeper into pursuing your interests. For example, when I graduated high school in 2021, I took a year off to learn a new language because it has been my dream to learn a new language. The most complex reason I really wanted to take a year off is that I wanted to get gap year to get to know myself um, and to find out what I really want out of life before I go to college especially if I'm going to college for something that is very serious, like the medical profession. Eight months into learning Spanish and practicing my speaking, I decided to buy a plane ticket to Colombia for three weeks. Going to Colombia was able to give me a very clear picture of who I am, what I like to do, what I want out of life, and it also showed me how beautiful the world could be. I'm not saying that you need to learn a language in particular or travel halfway around the world to find yourself, but I'm telling you this because I want you to understand that there's no way I could have experienced those important moments of self-discovery unless I completely had detached myself from the idea that I need another person to live and enjoy life. It gave me a deep appreciation for self-reliance and the opportunities that were given to me in life. Focusing on yourself, cultivating your interests, and taking the time to actually find and get to know yourself will ultimately give you the road to peace everyone is desperately trying to find. And the change begins with you in solitude.